Welcome <laughs> back to the Garf Cast. I'm Trevor C. Turvetin. With me, as always, we have the one, the only, Jacob Pensky. Hey there. Welcome to the Garf Cast. It's going to be a fun one because we got something special, special today. We do have something very special in store for you guys today. But first, we got to get through Sean Lyons. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the GarfCast. I'm excited to be here and ready to talk about our topic. Now, um, let's address the elephant in the room. Maddie B is not with us anymore. He has died, unfortunately. Um, he died in a Wendy's accident. Mm -hmm. Um, grilled his face off or something the only witness to the situation was Sam May and he has um, thankfully joined us to give us a full rundown of the exact incident that happened at work Sam Uh, yes yes I um, I, uh, I was there it was two nights ago actually and we were all at work. It was a normal day. Maddie B was on grill because that's pretty much where he is. He was he was doing a good job. Maddie B's a good worker. I trained him that way. He was doing his job. It was closing time, and he was well, part of the job as a grill closer. For our viewers that don't know, is to clean the grill. <laughs> and, and I'm sorry. I don't know. Why I'm laughing. This should, this is a very serious manner. <laughs> it's very serious indeed he he was cleaning the grill but but so underneath the grill there's this there's this grease trap that holds all the grease that falls from the grill and you have to move that before you can clean the actual grill because when you you can't have the soap that you use to clean the grill go into that bucket so when Maddie moved that bucket, he was doing it kind of in a rush, and some grease spilled on the floor. And um, <laughs> and, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sorry Maddie B. I'm so sorry. Sam, I, it's such a dramatic event that you're breaking down in tears as you describe it. I Daddy mean, listen, B. this is this is the first time I'm hearing the actual, like, whole rundown. And, oh, God, it's so heartbreaking. So what happened after the grease? Um, yeah, so he moved the grease trap, and some of it spilled on the floor. Uh-huh. And then he goes to clean the grill, and he, he slips. And his, no. his whole, like... From his neck up, falls on the grill, and he's and he's you know how when you fall, you try to catch yourself on it, like you catch yourself on something. Well, he caught himself, but the problem was he caught himself on the the shutdown part of the grill, so he fell on the grill, and then he actually shut the thing on his head, <laughs> and it was, and he pretty much flattened his head like a burger. <laughs> <laughs> well, fresh never frozen, I guess. <laughs> it was it was painful but it was quick so that was good i guess and he is he will be sorely missed by not just the wendy's community but the garfcast community and it would really mean a lot if you the listeners could spread this episode around send it to their friends send it to their friends friends their moms just really get that garf cast out here, because this is in memoriam of Maddie Charles B. Um, what would what would truly help in these um trying times would be going to shopgibgib.threadless.com and ordering yourself some new garf cast <laughs> merch because we really need the funds right now to help yeah. <laughs> a funeral the... <laughs> and really live on the Matthew Beale name. Um, <laughs> so once again, thank all of our listeners for the support. God bless Matthew Beale. You'll be missed, but to fill your holes, we have Sam Matt. Mm-hmm. I, I hope I can be half the Garfcaster Matty Beal was. 
Um, so now that the you know the important stuff is out of the way, it is time to talk about our main topic for today. And our main topic is if there was to be a new modern day Garfield film released by Disney, because now Disney owns the rights to the next Garfield film being made. Right. Um, who would who would be in the cast? You know. So we got some of the main characters here, and we're gonna discuss who we think should play those characters. Um, do we want to start with Garfield, or do we want to build up to Garfield? I think we should build up to Garfield, start with one of the, uh, the supporting characters, and uh, really Garfield be the big finale, I think. Okay. In that case, Sounds let's good. start with Nermal. All now right. Nermal. He's a young, kind of naive, little, little annoying goofball, but he's very cocky. And, you know, we need some young, hot actor to fill this void. Well, I mean, I have one person, but he's not an actor. Who is his it? Name is, his name is Sean Lyons. Oh, oh. Sean Lyons. A young, dumb <laughs> We're actually just going to cast ourselves in this movie. Yes. <laughs> nah, of course not. Of course not. Actually, I think, I'm thinking, now, it depends how we're going. Like, is it just, is normal animated? Is it someone in a normal suit? Um, it, I'd, I'd say remember the movie animated. Cats? Yes. <laughs> We're doing that. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm thinking either fully animated or because in the classic Bill Murray films, Garfield's the only CGI animal and everybody else's actual animals. I think mm-hmm. it would look a lot nicer if every character was a cgi animal like yeah and then live action people yeah i think that could that could i think work. that would make make sense mm-hmm. so so that means it would just be the voice and then for normal uh i i'd have a suggestion it'd be uh do you know who josh gad is i do know <laughs> yeah. who josh gad is <laughs> yeah <laughs> i feel like he'd be a yeah. i feel like he fits that type because he he voiced the iconic character of olaf Everyone, mm-hmm. everyone he also kind of thinks he's annoying. He also played the character Chuck in the Angry Birds movies. Mm. <laughs> the yellow bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Josh Gad is no stranger to animation, so we could definitely right. do it. Um, Josh Gad also has experiences with musicals, so if we wanted to make this uh, musical, you know, Josh Gad could definitely fill in the void. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then maybe like another person that has a knack for bad movies or animation and musicals, George James Cameron or James Corden. I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute, James Cameron. <laughs> yeah, no, not the uh, Avatar director, but no, James Corden mm-hmm. is very is no stranger to bad movies and bad <laughs> animated movies. Especially. However, we want this to be a good movie, and I feel like James Corden brings a negative kind of. Let me see. He'd be bringing some baggage. Because yeah, I, I'm gonna be real. I can't think of a good movie James Corden is in. Yeah, no. Because uh, I think the I think the closest was Into the Woods. Never saw that. I heard it wasn't that good. <laughs> um, yeah, I've seen the musical. Or yeah, a musical a, version. Yeah, I'm not of a it. fan. I'm not a fan of the Into the Woods musical, and I heard that the movie wasn't that good of a movie. So I wasn't that, you know, thrilled to go. Yeah, no. But, um, so I, I'm, I'm pushing for James Corden to not be in our movie, if it's all the Fair same enough. with you. I, I do Fair like enough. Josh. I'd like Josh Gad. Um, but one of the people that I was thinking, now I know we did say, like, annoying, but mm-hmm. we also did say young and one of the rising stars right now who's he's dipping his he's dipped his toes into um two fully animated films and one cgi live action crossover um and you know others tom holland Mm. ah he also fits the the hot bill you know exactly uh... exactly the matches normals uh, (laughs) sexiness 
yeah. we could we could kind of portray Nermal as a bit more of a um, hot stud, <laughs> yeah. or like Which he would... he believes of himself to be a hot stud, but he's kind of like a scrawny dork. And Tom Holland can kind of, you know, he can do both. Him. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, in Spies in Disguise, he plays a bit of a dork. In Onward, he plays a bit of a dork. Uh, he, I believe, played a dog in Doolittle. <laughs> I, I didn't see it. <laughs> even Spider Man's a little goofy sometimes. Yeah, you know? he's he's a nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Even though he's like pretty handsome, mm-hmm. he's a nerd. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, Sean, do you have any suggestions <laughs> for for Normal? Um. You know, I'm just gonna be very dumb with my answer. I'm gonna say Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> as as normal? You yes. know, it could okay, so hear me out. You know, normal's a smaller cat. What were we saying? Yeah, what's the difference? But Dwayne the Rock Johnson's voice as normal could be a little comedic, you know, if it's a small cat. Small, mm-hmm. dorky, annoying cat and it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, yeah no, I could I see know. that. But I feel like it would wear off a little f- quickly. I feel like that voice would play into the thing, normal thinking he's better than he really is. Mm-hmm. But... Or, like, I was thinking, well, since I said Dwayne The Rock, I was thinking maybe Kevin Hart, but I don't know. Well, that, Kevin Hart's I, a lot better, probably. I do think, yeah, Kevin Hart, out of those two, Kevin Hart would be a better fit. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Hart likes playing his um, short characters, and you could definitely... He's got so the, I think... the short, the short king energy, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, he's um, yeah. he played uh, the the weird the rabbit on in Secret Life of Pets. That he did. That oh, he did. yeah, he did. And we all know that that rabbit is pretty short, so mm-hmm. and also pretty outgoing. And yeah, very flamboyant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I, but... I could see that. So. Who are we thinking? Josh Gad, Tom Holland, or Kevin Hart? I'm going to say, with our, I think Josh Gad would be the best, the best to play normal. Yeah, I think it's close, but I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know if this is bias. I mean, I did say Josh Gad. I I think I'd go with Josh Gad. Well, since it's majority, I guess I don't really get it. <laughs> no matter what I say. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, Josh. They they all could they all could work, but I, I guess mm-hmm. we'll say Josh Gad. All right, so we'll all right, right, perfect. That is normal. Put in the books. I'm writing it down right now. Is there two D's in Gad? No. Uh, it's one. I don't. Yeah, I think it's one. G A D. So our next character, Arlene. Arlene. Oh. She is um. A strong female <laughs> character um, who don't need no man, but she likes Scarfield. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I haven't seen much of Arlene. So yeah, like, no, we we definitely if if we were making a Garfield movie, we would definitely want to make the relationship between Garfield and Arlene actually seem like a relationship because they haven't mm-hmm. actually dealt with that too much in any of the films. Um, yeah, that could be like the center of the mm-hmm. story or something. So yeah, maybe we want to get um, a bigger name for Arlene to kind of... I have an idea. Go on. What about Jessica Chastain? So, for, for Jessica. Now she, Chastain. She's a woman woman. Not gonna <laughs> lie. She's a, uh, she, she fits that strong woman role. Mhm. Mhm. I Actually, can see yeah. that. I don't. I, mean, I don't think she's done any animated work. Um, maybe she uh, has, but like under the radar. I don't know. I'm. I'm looking right now to see if there's anything. No, there's nope. no animated. Nothing animated in her filmography. So that'd be her first animated movie as well. Yes, it would. Dude, yes, her it debut would. <laughs> animated movie. In Garfield. Um, I think that's a that's, that's a good suggestion. Um, mm-hmm. Trevor, how do you uh, how do you 
think Arlene would be casted. Um, I think I think Jessica um, Chastain could, you know, she could work, but Garfield's a bit more of a um comedy, and not mm-hmm. you know not she's an actress, so she could probably you know become more of a comedic actress, but she hasn't really been in that many comedies. So I don't know mm-hmm. if Garfield would be <laughs> something that she would really <laughs> want to do. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm thinking somebody like Mila Kunis or uh, or Jennifer ooh. Aniston. You know, Jennifer somebody Aniston was the girl I was going to say. Ooh. Ooh. Very. But that might be a little like early Jennifer Aniston, like this kind of thing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was in Horrible Bosses. So that was pretty comedy. She comedic. is she is fifty one. <laughs> yeah, but like age mm-hmm. is just a number. Fair enough. And also, uh, she, yeah. she's going to be CGI. That is true. She is going to be a cat. So as long as she's got a young person's voice, she's going to be yeah. a pink cat. But I guess I guess then I'll, I'll lean more towards Mila Kunis. That'll be that's my suggestion. Right, so because, you said Jennifer mm-hmm. Aniston too. I'll say a different. I'll I'll go maybe like a. Let's see. Maybe like an Anna Ferris. Mm, mm-hmm. She's. You guys know who that is? Yes, yes. I do. Okay, I was about to say her, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you were, Sean. Yes, I was. <laughs> so, Anna Ferris know who that is. has experience with animated movies. Yes. Wasn't she in Cloudy and a Chance with the Meatballs? She was in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and the Emoji movie. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Yeah, I never, I never catch. <laughs> that one caught that one i believe she was also one of the chipettes she was mm-hmm. a scary movie and i don't know which which chip mo- chipette she was but she, i believe she was one of them so she you know she would definitely garfield wouldn't be out of the picture it wouldn't be too much of a grasp for her and she's not really working too much right now so she, i think the last movie she did was an overboard remake that looked terrible but Never saw it. Yeah, got... no, she didn't. She hasn't had a big hit because I'm looking right now. You got Overboard, Emoji Movie, and then um, she was in some good movies like There's like Broke The Dictator Mountain. and then Yogi Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Yogi Bear. That's, that's, that's more like Garfield speed, you know? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she was in Scary Movie. One, two, three, four. She was in at least four of the scary movies. <laughs> yeah, there was just a bunch of those. So. Yeah. Just uh, Friends with Ryan Reynolds. A classic. Oh. A classic. Mm-hmm. What's Your Number? And The House Bunny. I remember watching that when I was a kid. The House Bunny? Yeah, she plays like a playboy bunny that finds like these, this group of girls that are like nerdy and it's got emma stone in it and she like gives them all makeovers mm. mm-hmm. not bad not bad i mean <laughs> it's probably not i don't know i was a kid when i watched it i probably just liked the hot ladies but <laughs> hot ladies. at least you're um, honest anna ferris is definitely a possibility so who are we thinking anna ferris mila kunis i gotta lean towards mila kunis just because of ted i uh <laughs> I really, <laughs> really like Ted, <laughs> so uh, I'm a little biased, so I'm going to say Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Yeah, I'm going to say Mila actually, Kunis. That was a I'm going to say Mina, Mila Kunis as well. Okay, so Went. Mila Kunis. <laughs> All right. It's so let's, say, let's, do, let's do John. Let's talk about John. Okay. I uh, want Jesse Eisenberg. Okay. I'm a little apprehensive because he he I I can kind of see it, but I don't know. Jesse Eisenberg is someone that I think is really is good in like a specific type of movie. Like um, I don't know if you guys have heard this movie, but there's one called The Art of Self Defense, and he was he's a bit of a he's a bit of a little dork in there. And I think I mean it's John John's John's pretty dorky, but he was his voice is just kind of. He gives off these creepy vibes, you know. I don't, John's not really creepy. But. Um, how? So he has played anime. He was um the blue, the bird in uh, Rio. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that's true. Um, and that 
to me didn't come off as creepy. Um, well, but <laughs> no, he was the, like a cute, it's just his cute voice, person. though. Yeah, I mean. fair enough. He is going to be in a live action role. Um, I don't know if you've seen this movie, but it is it is more of a drama compared to Garfield. But um, the end of the tour, he plays a pretty endearing character, so he can he can do less creepy. As in Zombieland, Zombieland. He's not that. Yeah, he's, he's pretty not that innocent. Zombieland. The art of self defense has a very creepy, like vibe to it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the so creepiest it, it kind of, movies I've seen. <laughs> it kind of play his role kind of reflects that as well. Um, so I feel like if it was a more light hearted, you know, Garfield movie, he he could it could work. Uh, like Sam, what's yours? Oh, you like it? Thank you, Jacob. I like it. Um, I was thinking, so kind of with all these nerdy, nerdy, dirty, <laughs> dirty, nerdy, dorky vibes. Um, I just had something in my head, but I forgot who it was. Maybe like a, um, I say like a, like maybe uh, like a Jason Schwartzman, or Ooh, Jason Schwartzman. <clears throat> I haven't really seen him in a lot of stuff, but I know he he can kind of be quirky. Mm-hmm. And man, I had okay. I had a different guy. I I believe it was Michael Sarah. No, I I mean I I was thinking oh. him, but I oh, but okay. I had a different guy because I wanted someone that no one's said. Oh okay. Or maybe like a uh, Steve Carell. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if it was early two thousands. <laughs> or like a or do you guys or like a James Marsden mm. or a Zach Braff. Kind of someone that mm-hmm. these are these are all people that are probably w- are past that point in their career that they would do this stuff, but mm-hmm. maybe I was gonna say James Marsden, uh, definitely might be uh, my dad. Yeah, I mean, he still just did he just did Sonic. Everybody mm-hmm. loves that movie. Everybody did love Sonic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, James Marsden did just do he did just do Sonic. So and he did the classic film. A hop, so he knows his way around CGI, live action CGI characters and stuff. Oh, and um, he did enchant it. Yes, I remember all these. He um, could definitely. Mm-hmm. Or maybe like Jason Segal. I think he also brings that kind of energy. And then if if you were going. Like this is probably a comedy, right? We said this was a comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, probably one of those guys. <laughs> so how how are we how old are we saying John is? Because um mid 40s. I'd say mid 40s. No, no, I think that's a little I think that's a little old. Cuz I was going like to say like mid 40s cuz then we'd be looking at like I think Jason you should be Segal, dating Liz. He's kind of Yeah, so if he's dating Liz, I'm thinking we want somebody a little younger or at least somebody that looks younger. Well, yeah, I guess so. I was gonna say. To be fair, you don't have to be the the age that you're playing. Yeah, you can. Yeah, somebody that at least like, because I'm I'm look. I didn't realize Jason Schwartz when was 39 years old. Yeah, so oh. it's gonna be. It'd be definitely kind of hard to find. Um, but so but he can look young. Yes, because you you sounded does. pretty surprised that he was 39. I'm trying mm-hmm. to think. Hmm. Mm, maybe uh no no um <laughs> there's like no they don't have to be young they just kind of have to look young mm-hmm. mid twenties Russell Brandt <laughs> Bill Hader Will Ferrell <laughs> John Cena wait wait, wait, wait Ferrell, guys that'd be funny. no 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 we're gonna get the Seth MacFarlane Seth uh, MacFarlane Seth MacFarlane? Yeah, Seth MacFarlane. That'd be funny. Uh, <laughs> everyone's favorite comedic actor, Rob Schneider. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> we could flip the script. Bill Murray is John this time around. Bill Murray? Yeah. His <laughs> old Bill, man. <laughs> Bill Murray's like 75 or 69. Yeah, but it's called exactly. acting. It's called acting, Sam. Jerry Seinfeld. Like... <laughs> I don't. Yeah. What's the deal with my cat? Jim Carrey. <laughs> Garfield. 
<laughs> Garfield. <laughs> um, so so out of all of these names that we listed, who are we thinking? Well, I'm still I, leaning uh, towards Jesse Eisen. Yeah, same here because that was the first the first one we mentioned. But I think it's still the best. Yeah. He's he's okay. got the hair. He's got the hair. Like when his hair's all curly. Well, <laughs> that that's I mean, not the only thing, but like he's he's an awkward kind of guy and he can get that I mean recently yeah. he's been bold, so <laughs> fair enough. Um but like John in the comics is supposed to be like an off putting kind of guy. Like nobody nobody wants to be next to John and Jesse Eisenberg mm-hmm. can definitely get that. So, I think Jesse Eisenberg works. I think that's actually yes. really good. Or maybe, maybe like a Jade Barish, Barish, or Barishell or whatever you, how you say his last name. Because I don't oh, know if you've seen him. Yeah, Barishell. Like, uh, like I don't know if you guys have seen the Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's his famous role. <laughs> I mean, well, he, that's um, where he plays uh, someone that's yeah, kind of going after this girl. Kid. Um, but you know, his he is um, you know. Pick up from How to Train Your Dragons. Uh, oh, yeah. He was in a show, uh, Man Seeking Woman. Hmm. Oh yeah, I I actually I really like that. I like that show. I watched. I was interested. I never got around to watching it. There's you know, there's like... only three seasons of it. It's pretty short, and I like. Are it. like twenty two episodes, or they like. Um, I believe it's like I, I think it's like twelve or thirteen per season, if I remember correctly. So, what are we thinking, Jay Bruchel or Jesse Eisenberg? I could go either. You guys all seem to like Jesse Eisenberg, so I'll do <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg. Okay, Jesse Eisenberg it is. All right. Brings us back to Liz. Uh-oh. So who are Liz we thinking? Liz has got to be pretty hot. <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg thinking, was someone really hot. I think she's kind of retired from acting. But I'm thinking Megan Fox. <laughs> uh, what was the uh, last uh? movie Megan Fox was in? Uh, I think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sequel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which was not very good. <laughs> but, hey, I I don't think I saw the second one. I saw the first one, and I kind of liked it, but I didn't yeah, like I, the second I, one at all. Mm-hmm. I remember I, I, I didn't mind the first one, but then I didn't see the second one. Um, she was in a low-budget movie, a or I, mean, I think it looks it looks low budget. She's it's been called... in three movies in 2019. Yeah, uh, but they're all like, you know, the type of movies that Nicolas Cage would be in. Uh, oh, the Avengers. first one I clicked on. Directed yes. video. Zeroville, directed by James Franco. She was apparently in that, which I didn't even hear that James Franco had a movie last year. Wow, it did not make any money at the box office. Seth Rogen, Danny McBride. It made $78,000. <laughs> I don't think... Is James Franco still considered dangerous? Because I know there was uh, sexual assault. Did he have... Did, did they... He? Okay, it was... Did they confirm... Because I know he got his Golden Globe for um, the disaster artist... And then some information came out, and they brushed him under the rug before the Oscars came out, came around. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if he has been cleared or not. Um, what makes me think he hasn't been cleared is that his movie that he directed, starring Seth Rogen and all of the classic Danny McBride and everybody, and Megan Fox earned $78,000 in the box office, and I didn't even hear that it came out mm. last year. Yeah, so. no, it's... Yeah, but the other two movies she did um, did uh, average. Just about the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, one, the one movie, she was like the star, though, Above the Shadows, which it looks yeah. like. They, but... they don't look fantastic, if I'm being honest. Yeah, but she's still hot, so... Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. So, um, you I, know, I think she was kind of like, in a way, blacklisted after she called Michael Bay, Bay, Bay pretty much Hitler. Yeah. Um, however, it, Michael Bay may be Hitler. 
Yeah, you but don't like, <laughs> if if a uh, someone's gonna talk like that about a director, then it's gonna discourage other directors from. One, what if every What if everyone's people. Hitler? You know, what if every yeah. director's mm-hmm. Hitler? Then, you know, um, we however, actors. however, the first the first article that I see, like one of the first videos I see, um. She said, I was objectified by Hollywood. So I don't know how much she would want to sign up on a movie if we're hiring her just because we think she's hot. <laughs> well, she's not a bad actor. She was in a movie called Jennifer's Body, and she like mm-hmm. was pretty good in that. Um, she, she, well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why, but I have a feeling she's got a really strong love for Garfield. Like, I think mm-hmm. she, this would be a passion project for her. Deep so you down, think she's the one and only for this for this Garfield movie. Because mm-hmm. I, I mean, I would do it. You know, like if they <laughs> wanted me to be Liz, like, of course. But. Okay. All right, uh, I think we should get a Mogan Poots. <laughs> uh, could you please uh, say her full name, Trevor? Emogen Gay Poots. Uh, um, yes. who's been in two movies with Jesse Eisenberg already. Ooh. The Art of Self-Defense and Vivarium, both of which happened to come out in 2019. Man, 2019 was a big year for her because she was also a lead in Black Christmas. Yeah. Wow. You know, so up-and-coming actress, Imogen Poots. Um, yeah, she... And it's, it's kind of strange because she's like 30... And which mm-hmm. is kind of weird because I've never even heard of her until 2019. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be one of those famous uh, celebrity pairings, you know, if we get her and Jesse Eisenberg to return again. Yes. Yeah. However, I mean, you, she could dye her hair, but uh, she doesn't. Or a wig, hair. you know, something like that. Megan, Megan Fox does have the black hair for Liz. Okay, you don't. Let me, <laughs> let me just. <laughs> you don't have to. No, 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 Sam, Sam, Sam. We Relax. want raw, real acting. We don't want any makeup. We don't want any special effects besides the cats. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know. Just say you don't. You don't cast someone that looks like a character. You cast someone because they're a good actor or actress. And like for example, um, the the Flash show. For mm-hmm. the entire uh, span of the Flash before the show, he's always had blonde hair. But guess what? Grant Gustin, he has brown hair. Does that what? mean it's bad Flash? No, yes. it's good Flash. <laughs> and then you have Heath Ledger, who no one thought, no one thought that would be a good idea. I wasn't even really in the movie business back then. I just know from people that were. <laughs> I mean, I'm not in the movie business now. You're in now, the business in now? So movie you know. world. <laughs> in the yeah. also, mm-hmm. it, yes. In the world, no one liked that idea. And, and I, can, I can see why, because before favorite. that, before that, he just did some, like, comedies. He did a... Ten uh, Things you know, I Hate About You. Yeah, Brokeback Mountain. Um, but guess what? He won a freaking Oscar for that award. Or for that movie. <laughs> so, just keep in mind... He can't. You, you, that's just not how you cast. Because then you get okay. bad movies. Well, I'm gonna go polar opposite of Sam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna go off looks, kind of. Uh, mm-hmm. uh Natalie Portman. For Natalie this. Portman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Any reason? Very... Uh, no. She doesn't really look like her either. But <laughs> yes, she does. Nice. No, she doesn't. <laughs> also, Natalie Portman's been in some good movies. So, well, so is matter of fact, uh, Megan Fox. I mean, if you go back to 2004, Liz, Jennifer Love Hewitt, she's a hot lady. So, <laughs> a hot lady. She was until she got old. But, well, okay, yeah. Jacob, um, do you have any suggestions? Uh no, I like I like what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Let's have Mila Kunis as Liz as well. I was Let's gonna say that Mila Kunis kind of kind of could do that too, but no. Well, same voice. Um, <laughs> so who are we thinking? Megan Fox. All Megan right, Fox sounds good. Okay, Megan Fox. 
I'll agree with Sam. <laughs> Megan Fox. All, All right. right. So, so does that mean we're on well, to John? Um, no, I mean on to Garfield. Garfield. Well, so here, Odie. Do we want to cast somebody as Odie? I mean, because Odie I feel like this talk. this this Odie. could be a Groot this could be a Groot situation. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It could be a Vin Diesel just making noises. Because um, fun fact on um, South Park. Whenever the, in the early days when they were getting um, cameos, they had like they cast George Clooney as a cat. And he just. <laughs> Makes, yeah, he just makes noises, and that that was the cameo. That is kind uh, of. And Jerry Seinfeld said he wanted to be on South Park, but when they said he was gonna play like a dog, he said, "No, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> so we could have something like that, and just throw out some outlandish actor like Dwayne the Rock Johnson as Odie. I think that'd be fun. Or we could just like <laughs> have Vin Diesel make more noises. <laughs> Um. So okay, do we or do we not? I don't know who would make who would make good dog noises. <laughs> we gotta we gotta get somebody who is very popular, and can do like marketing stuff because that would be the big reason why we would even warrant having them. May, like, even somebody like Jim Carrey. So should we do somebody that funny like mm-hmm. that has a big? Hmm. Or should we do like maybe a. Yeah, or somebody that's even like a bit more of a sophisticated actor, so that like, you know, even yeah. like Sir Patrick Stewart or George Clooney, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, Nicholas Cage might do it, but he needs the money. But that wouldn't that wouldn't be as outlandish because people would be like, oh, it's it's Nicholas Cage being Nicholas Cage, you know? Maybe mm-hmm. like uh, Robert Maybe De Niro. Niro. Robert De Niro, yeah. <laughs> that would be <laughs> that would be the dream having Robert De Niro play out. <laughs> or Al Pacino. Oh, Al Pacino, he's very he's got pretty much iconic voice. He's like, like can do Bruce Willis. No, nah, I want Joe Pesci. Go. <laughs> Joe. Just have the whole cast of the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all take turns. You know, or, you know what? Let's give Martin Scorsese himself. Have him return to an animated character. <gasps> we could do Keanu Reeves. Oh, Keanu Reeves is the anime's VR. favorite actor. Yeah, no, and I, also I wouldn't want him to be in there. You know, what if we had someone be, like it would be funny because last time he saved the dog, this time he is the dog. Yes. Or he or, was getting revenge so, for his dog. Sorry, he was getting revenge for his dog. Now he's is the dog. Well, you did save a dog. It just wasn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Keanu if, um, Reeves is huge in the moment, so it would also be... Keanu Reeves boom. as Odie. Okay, hold on, hold on. What if Sam we had, May like, a... has nothing to say. Okay, I can't Keanu... even talk. Because <laughs> no one's letting me talk. <laughs> no, no, no. Keanu Reeves is Odie, period. Any objections? Speak now or I mean, forever was... hold your silence. I was going to give a... All right, give a... Keanu no Reeves. Objections. No objections. Keanu Reeves. I mean, was... So All this brings right. us to... None other than Garfield. <laughs> All right. Okay. Garfield. Here's my pick. Vin we'll Diesel. go through everybody. Vin Diesel. Okay, no. no. All right, yeah. Everyone give a pick for Garfield. My pick is Vin Diesel. Jacob? Oh, uh, someone else go. <laughs> uh, Sean? Sam first. <laughs> Sam. All right. How about someone... I don't know someone that Bill Murray just had the good a good someone that captures that sarcasm, that uh, smarminess. Sam, if you take mine, I'm gonna kill you. you know, we could we could pull a Lion King and have some recurring cast members. Uh, well, oh, you... maybe. So I was thinking. <laughs> Maybe like Jack Black. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. Jack Black has said that he um is kind of retiring after Jumanji two from acting, so we can spend more time with his family. Wait a what about Jumanji three? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. 
Well, then that's probably not a good choice then. Well, but this is, is that this your is final choice. G- get is... Sam May's favorite actor, Will Arnett. You know, I could see him being it, or maybe like Steve Martin. Mm, mm-hmm. So, Bill Burr or Adam Sandler, <laughs> Bill Burr. Maybe Bill let, Burr. let Sam make a choice, and then we'll talk about it. Sam's gonna make a, a solid choice, though. All right, I guess if I had to make. One singular choice, it'd be Will Smith. <laughs> okay. That's like a safe pick, though. What do you mean a safe pick? <laughs> because Will Smith can do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's why I picked him. All right, Sean, who's your pr- guess? Or who's your yeah. pick? Um, uh, I'm just going to go stupid with it. I'm going to say Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Joaquin <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Phoenix. bro. Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Why yeah. Joaquin Phoenix <laughs> just, well, Joaquin Phoenix has done animated roles before. He was um Brother the main bear. bear in Brother Bear. <laughs> and he yeah. played his role pretty seriously. So, all right. Oh, he, he could yeah. do it. I think it'd be funny after his Oscar winning role, he comes <laughs> to Garfield. He'd get two Oscars. <laughs> back to back, baby. We'd let him write the script. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's all right. It'd be like this political agenda movie, <laughs> and it'd be like Garfield against the far right. All right. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> see, you see, the world is a cow, and we've been <laughs> sucking the teeth from it too hard. Now yeah. there's no. All right. Fine. I'll change my answer because you guys are getting no, way no, too no. political. Say, keep Joaquin Phoenix, Sean. We keep gotta. Joaquin We'll have a different approach by everyone, pretty much. So, yeah, yeah just right. keep it. I have more well, now. <laughs> okay, Jacob? Uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe. Uh, uh, Garfield. <laughs> I... it, it... My magnum dong. <laughs> <laughs> he, was... he, he did some animated work like the Lorax. Yeah. He was yeah. pretty good in that. Mm-hmm. And he mm. could bring a bit more of that adult kind of humor and snarkiness that, you know, a lot of people True. know Danny before. And they could have him be the stand-in on set. <laughs> <laughs> that suit with the balls all over it. Yeah. Just yeah. I have another pick that's like, I don't know. I don't, I think it'd be good. But um, like. Joaquin Phoenix? No, but Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> the two. <laughs> <laughs> You're like perfect actors that can do no wrong. Tom Hanks and Will Smith. Dude, he played the ant bully. <laughs> he was in the ant bully. Tom Hanks is in the ant bully? Yes. I didn't know that. I think he was it wasn't he was the uh oh sh- I actually don't know. Well now I'm looking yeah, up I the bet ant you don't know. No, I know he's in it though. Oh yeah, because you looked it up. No, because I'm smart. You probably haven't even seen the Ant Bully. I have. It was like a childhood movie. <laughs> um, so I'm looking up the Ant Bully, and it doesn't look like Tom Hanks is in it. What, you, what the <laughs> f- <laughs> Sean. Uh, um, the Toy Story. Stars <laughs> Zach Tyler Eisen, Bruce Campbell, Nicolas Cage, Julia Roberts, Regina King. Cameo. John A. Davis. Cameo. Paul Giamatti, Meryl Cameo. Streep, Lily Tomlin, Cameo. <laughs> um, and Jake T. Austin, but no, Cameo. Uh, Cameo. No, no Tom Hanks. Okay, fine. I should have just said the Toy Story. Leave me alone. Well, Frank Frank Welker's in here. Tom Sean, Kenny say... is in here. Ooh. Wait, hold up. Tom Hanks. I'm looking it up right now. Oh, I'm getting my shit kicked then. I don't know. I think it was a cameo. Sean, this is what happens when you say things Wait, it that says... aren't true. <laughs> Wait. Tom Hanks was a producer of the movie. Is it the same Tom Hanks? Like, is it just some <laughs> nobody that has the same name as him? Actually, hold on, hold on. It's a different Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different Tom Hanks. Wait, it is? <laughs> 
<laughs> Google See, this to is, me. Shot, I literally saw literally just looked up Ant Bully and he saw the name Tom Hanks. And I knew <laughs> Okay. I so, knew that's so what he was doing. Here's the problem. So on the Wikipedia page, if you hit Tom Hanks, it takes you to the Tom Hanks. That's not what I clicked though. I saw Tom Hanks. I was like, Tom Hanks. Hold on, I'm gonna watch a video real quick. Is that it says Tom Hanks talks the ant bully. I'm gonna Sorry. see if this is if it looks like a different Tom Hanks, but I can't tell if it was the interviewer or uh maybe he's young. Wait a minute. I do see. Tom Hanks says see ant bully on IMAX screen. Okay, that is it I think that is Tom Hanks. <gasps> oh wait. No, it is Tom Hanks. Okay. You guys didn't eat my nuts. Yeah, but Sean, you didn't even realize like when we said it was a different one, you were like, "Oh no, it's a different one." But then, like when we found out it's the real one, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, it's the real hey, one." Hey, you just okay, you would so, just say whatever we said. Wrong, shut up. Okay, so Tom Hanks, the Tom Hanks, is a producer of the film, but he's not in the film. Mm, wonderful. <laughs> so, <laughs> well. All I know is uh, Sean is right, Diane. You are wrong. Okay, uh, but I don't well, think he's in it. Move on, Sean, move on, nice. move on. <laughs> Sean, you were wrong. I don't know where you saw the name Tom Hanks in Ant Bully, but like, he's not in it. You know I didn't realize how much of an all-star cast the Ant Bully had. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, when I heard you reading it off, it was like, wow. I, I was wondering if you're going to say something like, are you reading, like, are you reading the right cast list because it sounds like you know a movie tom Wait, hanks Tyler, would James be Williams was in it too who plays the bully um some kid uh, soldier and and then bruce campbell and nicholas cage are the main ant general i like how some of them are just numbers um yeah ant number 19 played by john a davis <laughs> wait what was what was tyler james williams he was, oh. Anywho, so you're saying Tom <laughs> Hanks, producer of fav- fan favorite film, The Ant Bully. Yeah. <laughs> you know, speaking of Bruce Campbell, he might be a good Garfield. I don't know. He's got like a little suave to him, a little swagger. <laughs> cool Garfield. With like a Billy Crystal, <laughs> like Wazowski. I feel like I feel like Billy Crystal's voice would be a little jarring from Garfield. Like, n- just because um, Billy Crystal has one of those voices that like, eh, he's kind of like, yeah, it, it's, it's kind Romano? of a similar thing with um, Ray Romano. Yeah, a similar thing <laughs> to, uh, but to a lesser extent, uh, Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but like you can, you hear the voice and you're like, oh. <laughs> but, but I mean, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I, I mean, Gilbert Godfrey is Garfield. <laughs> so, um, who are we thinking? Wait, quick question. Yes. Would we have a narrator or no? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean. Like, I mean who- who do you want the narrator to be? No, okay, I don't have anybody, but I was like, it was just a like, since it's like a if live. If we were to get a narrator, we would have to pull a Ted and get somebody like Patrick Stewart or. Yeah. We'd have David Attenborough. <laughs> or Bruce Campbell. I don't know. We would, we just would like get Bruce somebody. Campbell. <laughs> We'd get somebody who uh, you could instantly recognize. Well, I don't know how many kids today can recognize. Well, it's more so for the parents. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess we got our big old cast. Well, well, we there's a, there's one thing we have. Oh, that's true. We just need to like pick now. Um. Okay. Wait, can we run through that list one more time? <laughs> we have Vin Diesel, Will Smith, Tom Hanks. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix, Danny DeVito, and Bruce Campbell. <laughs> All right. Oh. Trevor, who do you want? Um, Vin Diesel. Ugh. I will, I'll say I mean, are we just going to all say our own? <laughs> no, no. I don't, I I don't, I don't Vin want Diesel. Vin Diesel, though. Why don't you want Vin Diesel? Sam, okay. 
I don't understand how you could, would say a Billy Crystal would be jarring. <laughs> Sam freaking... Billy Crystal. Well, because Garfield has a deeper voice. I think it would be... He's not fucking Vin Diesel's voice. <laughs> yeah, but That's imagine just... okay, if it was Vin Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> Vin Diesel no. sounds like if a freaking truck engine could talk. He's like, <laughs> really I hate Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I can't even do it. Like, I can't even do a Vin Diesel. Voice. Okay, Vin Diesel, no, no. And two of you want Vin Diesel. <laughs> I mean, so, Sam, who would you want? I would, I don't know, probably between Bruce Campbell or Will Smith. But uh, Will Smith another option, we Vin can bring Diesel. back Bill Murray. Mm-hmm. Actually, he is. I don't know, he was really good. <laughs> he kind of is just the perfect Garfield. And if we come to him with, like, an actual scripts. <laughs> I mean, he did oh, some yeah. fake press for Garfield 3. Yeah. And he seemed Spoiler pretty into that. Okay, so... <laughs> Bill... Bill Murray? <laughs> Bill Murray, okay. So Bill Murray. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm fine with getting Bill Murray back. I mean, Can't I would love Bill back. Murray back. All right, no. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, I'd say there's a... 30% chance. No, probably probably like a 15 Jim Davis chance. has said um, in interviews that he is 100% sure that he could get Bill Murray back for a third Garfield movie. Okay. So I Bill don't Murray. know how sh- sure that is because from what I can tell, Bill Murray had a miserable time in Garfield. But, um, you know, if we brought him a relative, a, a better Garfield movie to be in. Yeah, with the I mean, cat. From what you up. said, the filming of the first one sounded pretty rough <laughs> on bill like, Murray. yeah if and we i make, think you know if we make sure that the experience is enjoyable yeah i mean you just got to record some lines in a booth somewhere so mm-hmm. and do some cgi stand in well yeah. probably not <laughs> some uh, tracking making, <laughs> bill Murray tracking on all fours <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so, so, oh what I just wanted to say we we cast the characters, but we should probably cast a director. <sighs> Tom Hanks. <laughs> and Tom Hanks. I don't know. No, Quentin Tarantino. You know, I was going to think as a, as a joke, but because this is like a comedy, I was thinking maybe yeah. like a a Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. He's very he's very hot right now. That he is. Not Give him in a physical man. Feet probably think of something zany or maybe he would want to be garfield himself because he likes to do some voice mm-hmm. work he could de- or it, he could he could be a ner- um a normal or even like an Odie, you know yeah Odie. he probably. would definitely find a way to fit himself in there now definitely if this was an action movie uh <laughs> never mind vin diesel <laughs> <laughs> yeah vin diesel directed it <laughs> the Michael like, Bay. Happy... <laughs> explosion! So explosion! Explosions! Yeah. <laughs> the All right, live so in. an explosion here, an explosion there, and some. Garfield. When he knocks over that shelf, make sure it explodes. There's this, <laughs> there's this movie that came out in 2007, I believe, called "This Means War," and it's a movie about two spies played by Chris Pine and um, Tom Hardy kind of like battling each other for the affection of a woman played by Reese Witherspoon. Mm-hmm. It could be like that between like Normal and Garfield and it'd just be like they try to kill each other nonstop. <laughs> eh? Eh? Like itchy and scratchy but uh, Garfield and Normal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Normal Garfield... was never really Normal was never really trying to go for the affection of Arlene. They kind of always well, had like a brother sister relationship. Well, we could make our, you know, movie. Yeah, 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 could... yeah. But we also want to be authentic to the comics. You know? Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, Marvel. Uh, makes long some long changes story short, there. we're getting Bong Joon Ho to direct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No objections. All right. We could probably do some good. Wes Anderson's Garfield. <laughs> well, that was fun. Okay, so that. Um. So you want me to read over our cast that we got? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's just go just through the so whole we thing. remind everyone. Uh, we have we just we got Bill Murray returning as Garfield, Jesse Eisenberg as John Arbuckle, Megan Fox as Liz, 
Mila Kunis as Arlene, Josh Gad as Nermal, and Keanu Reeves slash possibly Taika Waititi if he's directing as Odie. Wow. That is a cast. <laughs> An I mean, all-star cast for the greatest film. An all-star movie. What the, what the hell would be our budget? <laughs> um, um, well, it'd be funded by Disney, so at least $10 million. <laughs> They got some cash. <laughs> they do have some cash. Okay. It might be a Disney Plus original, but that they still put a lot of money. Now, would it look as good as, like, um, it's like a really good animated movie So that came out recently? Well, like, it'd be like well, a live, live action, action and, and CGI. Live action. Like, like and the Planet of the like Apes real? trilogy. Like that. It's like gets real, but except like when you jump, it's the real world. And... Well, I mean, we probably wouldn't have the same plot as the no. But it would be like the original two films with live action and CGI characters. But, but it would instead be of Garfield good... being the only CGI character, we decided that all like the Odies and the Arlenes and animals would also be CGI. Okay, mm-hmm. now I see. But the CGI would so be as good as human the planet. CGI animals. It would be as good as Planet of the Apes. We'd get Andy Serkis to direct it. Or Pogo. <laughs> Pogo the Monkey from the Umbrella Academy. Um, it's very possible with today's technology. Yeah, oh, it's more than possible. Disney's it's money. A, it, with Disney behind it, we would definitely... Yeah, I mean, we got the MCU. They have mm-hmm. incredible CGI capabilities. A Star Wars yeah. film. You know. Star Wars, yeah. So we, it, it, it's not impossible. Mm-hmm. I'd say it's likely. Yeah. Even. Well, so, um. And this episode that... just made me really sad because I know this isn't going to happen. <laughs> well, once Maybe Disney one hears our plan, they're going <laughs> to. We can send yeah. this to Taika Waititi and he's going to go fight for it. He's going to drop Iger, it. Bob Iger listens to this podcast. So. <laughs> Bob Iger is going to drop everything. And make sure that this Garfield movie gets made before he has to leave. They're going to contact all of us immediately at the Garfcast. We're going to get so much money. <laughs> won't have to work a day in our lives anymore. <laughs> oh. And when you look up our names, <laughs> you'll have the Garfield movie <laughs> right next to it. Yeah. And then the podcast so, uh, will get huge. Oh, um, yeah. So... That ends our main topic of the day, which brings us to the dramatic reading with Jacob Pensky. Jacob. All right. I've been waiting uh, for this one. This is uh, this comic. It's just got John and Garfield. Uh, we're going to 2008, Tuesday, April 29th, 2008. Um, John just got a new phone. John says, My new cell phone has voicemail, a calendar, an alarm clock, a camera, a tip calculator, a GPS system, and it plays MP3 music files. John continues to smile while he scrolls through his new phone, while Garfield lays on the table, disinterested. Suddenly, a frown hits John's face, and he says, It does everything but ring. Garfield, still disinterested, says, that would require friends. Ooh. Ooh. Burn. Now imagine and Bill cool. Murray and Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that exactly. <laughs> picture it. We'll As a classic cool. Garfield burn against John <laughs> for no friends. You just got Garfielded. <laughs> Is there anything we want to say? I mean, it kind of <laughs> speaks for itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great, I mean, pretty great standard Garfield. So, um, since Maddie B has passed away, so uh, tragically, Cam A is <laughs> immediately in charge of the fun fact of the day for. Yes, and I hope my fun facts are as fun as Maddie B's facts. And I so I found one mm-hmm. that I thought was pretty. It was pretty interesting. And so, so Garfield having a uh, span, let's say, let's say as long as he has 40 plus years, 
He's going to find lots. He's going to have lots of facts about him. <laughs> and this one in particular is probably one of my favorites because I know a lot of Garfield facts. <laughs> and, and a lot, like, like, like a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't think he said this one or anyone said this one. Well, but we all know Jim Davis wrote Garfield, right? Mm-hmm. Well, Garfield has a sister series that is actually ki- kind of connected to Garfield. I mean, there's no like connections, but in a way, kind of like a long lost sibling is connected to one another. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have, it's called U.S. Acres. Huh? Yeah. Ever, anyone ever heard of it? I have. Of course you haven't. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, you have? <laughs> yeah, I have. That makes that makes it a little awkward then. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, however, we haven't discussed this on the show yet. Well, so go on. Go on. All right. It was written by Jim Davis, like Jim Davis is creator, just like Garfield. It just it never it never took off. Like it just never was uh, as popular as Garfield was, obviously. Um, to add on to it, um. In the 90s uh, cartoon Garfield and Friends, the U.S. Acres cast was the and Friends. There's two seg or yeah two yeah I believe it was just sometimes they had three segments where it was two Garfield segments and then one U.S. Acres segment of all the farm animals. So yeah, so like it, before that, it was it was it was removed from the press like they stopped making it mm-hmm. and, and and then those characters found like a new home so to speak on Garfield and Friends so mm-hmm. so yeah U.S. Acres um, not very good oh I guess I should say what it's about it's about these farm animals and all these <laughs> wacky adventures they get into so hmm. just you wait till the U.S. Acres podcast starts up <laughs> <laughs> oh that's, that's gonna be wacky <laughs> we'll do a collab <laughs> Well, thank you, Sam May, for the fun fact I, of the day. I hope I, I did good. Did I? I hope I did a good thing. You did good, you did. Sam May. You did good. Sam, we appreciate you. I'm not used you to it. always do good. It's, it's a lot of pressure. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. I was just going to say, I I was told at the beginning of the con- uh, podcast that I was going to have to find a fact, but I didn't find a fact until about uh, two minutes before I was supposed to start talking about the fun fact. So... <laughs> This is the best I could do for two minutes. I asked. Today's Garfield cameo is a bit of an exciting one. On the Garfield social media pages, some news has dropped. Some very big news, actually. Um, mm-hmm. there's There's been talk about this for a couple of months now. But a new Garfield show is coming in 2020. Oh. Wow. And... What? It is Nickelodeon and Viacom bought the rights to Garfield TV production last year. And so everybody was like, oh, that means it's, you know, going to be on Nickelodeon. And so Garfield finally posted on on Friday. They posted Garfield and Nickelodeon friends. He's part of the family. And then it's a picture of Garfield and, you know, there's SpongeBob and the Loud House, the Ninja Turtles, and other Nickelodeon shows that I I, I don't know what they are. <laughs> but what was that? I believe Sean died. Sean got shot. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I knew too um, much. <laughs> so, as uh, more news develops, we'll definitely talk more about this upcoming Garfield show. But um, new Garfield content is on its way to the public but um there's not much to say except for that it is confirmed as and it is actually happening now so that's pretty exciting so, is that the cameo or oh uh, yeah that's the, that's the cameo for today that oh. nickelodeon show <laughs> cameo in the news yeah i see all right um so yeah i, I feel like this episode's gone on long enough sam may where can the people find you i uh, i have an instagram <laughs> Uh, it's, I think it's Sam May 
uh, one four five. <laughs> Uh, not one four four. That is someone else. I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right. And um, that's pretty, if you that's pretty much it. if you want to keep up with the Garf Cast, find us at the Garf Cast on Instagram or Cast Garf on Twitter. Uh, if you want to email us a question or send us a DM, our email is the official Garfcast at gmail dot com. And um, th- once again, thank you to our sponsor Anchor Podcasts for sponsoring our show. So far, we've made about. A dollar. So <laughs> one day, this podcast is basically paying for itself right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all <laughs> funds are going straight into the podcast. I mean, we spend no money on this show, so <laughs> yeah, pretty much yeah. any amount of money. It's going is a to always improve our podcast for you guys. So the only thing we spend is too much time. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our fans in Austria and Hungary. Because apparently, three <laughs> percent of our listeners are in Austria. <laughs> so if you're out there, please hit us up. Please, we love to hear how you discovered us. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye. This went out too long. <laughs> do we clap? <laughs> yeah, we're clapping. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean too long? There's no such thing. <laughs>